Has he got it? No, he's been floored. He got the outside edge. It carried to Kamran Akmal. What a beginning. Ball number one, merely a loose now. 132 Ks on that one, but he's been dropped. My goodness. It's shaped for the in-swinger, but it held its line, took the outside edge, and should have been taken. That's a, that's a dolly for a keeper. I think he's made the mistake going two hands. He's, uh, he's taken in front of first slip and dropped it. It's when you're not expecting one. That's when it happens. That's gone down fine. Then run away for four. Oh, beautifully played. That's just been eased through the covers. It's a bit of a chase. And uh, it's not going to be prevented from reaching the boundary. So, boundary to end the over. 16 without loss. Well, that's been smashed past point. That's going to be four. That's the area sort of Ganguly is so adept at finding the gaps in. Oh, that's gone over. That's a bit of fortune for Sachin Tendulkar. Not so for Pakistan and Shoaib Akhtar, but that was brilliantly bold. He couldn't control the bounce, so there is a lot of dual nature to this wicket. Well, they just moved the second slip out of there and they will be ruining that decision. Second slip moves to Gully and promptly, very next delivery, right through second slip for four. Oh, what a hit. Brilliant. That really took him by surprise and that is a huge hit. Six. Now, this is what he can do. He can surprise you. Into the gap. And this is a quick outfield and reaches the boundary quite easily. He's played it fine this time. Might be back to back boundaries. Down the track and into the gap. Will end the over with the boundary. 60 for no loss. And taken this time. Kamran Akmal with a brilliant catch and uh, there is no reaction from Kamran Akmal obviously uh, he's still feeling the pinch of that drop chance but he's picked up a key wicket Sachin Tendulkar is always a prize scalp and Pakistan would be uh, very happy with Kamran Akmal's terrific keeping from nowhere he's plucked a brilliant take and it's Soil Tanvir who's given Pakistan the first breakthrough and a major one. 68 for one, Sachin one for 29. It's got a bit of inside edge on that big bat. And will run away to the boundary. Knocked him over. Soil Tanvir has been very, very good. He's got it to nip back through the gate. It's his second wicket. He picked up Tendulka. He's providing control. And now he's picked up the big wicket of Ganguly. Ganguly getting out at the wrong time for the Indian team. But very good time for the Pakistani team. They'll be feeling confident. They'll be thinking they're back in this game. India, 82 for two. Nicely played. What a shot that was. Sweetly timed. Down the track just wide of Shahid Afridi. But the important thing for Gambir and India, it's a much needed boundary. Good strike. Delightful shot to watch. And he's breaking the shackles with that boundary. Yudrat Singh. And uh, I think that's gone on to dislodge the bales. Pakistanis are ecstatic. Gautam Gambhir uh, will consider himself unlucky. Ball bounced, jumped, spun. It did everything. And in the end, dislodged the bales. Well, this is a big blow because you've consumed so much. 
that oh. is bad luck not only for Gambhir but for India as well so big breakthrough for Rehman got the ball to turn he is the main spinner 25 for Gambhir it's 129 for three well that's gone fine and runs Miss Balak will uh, try to chase it down but the ball wins the race oh that's dropped I think that has been put down Salman but has missed it 135 for three they didn't halt it in their tracks it's difficult getting even a single no need to take a single no need to take a boundary that's gone for a massive six one of the very best from uh, Yura Singh's bat that's another one Will this go over the top as well? Yes, it does. Terrific hitting from you, Raj. From nowhere, he's produced a couple of great shots. Another six. Dhoni jumps on the bandwagon this time, following you, Raj Singh. Fourth one. That's a massive one. Wow, what a hit. And that's what he's famous for, Mahinda Singh Dhoni. Good response from Mahinda Singh Dhoni. He's a powerful man. That is a serious punch from Mahindra Singh Dhoni. What those four sixes has done, they have forced the Pakistani spinners to push the ball. That's found the gap. And it's brought up 50 for Yuvraj Singh. His form has been outstanding. He's so good to watch. He's a clean striker of the ball. And more importantly, he's found consistency in his game. He looks more in control. He knows what he's doing. That's gone. That's a big one. Ten runs already in this over from three deliveries. Slow delivery. Bold him. Inside edge. He does the job. Kisses him uh, goodbye. That's why he runs that far. <laughs> runs in, charges in like a raging bull, then bowl a, a fast off break that comes out much slower than his much faster delivery. There it is. It's an off break rather than an off cutter. Beautifully disguised, beautifully bowled, just turned enough to get the inside edge. Donnie, well played. I love the way he plays the game of cricket. But he's gone, and it's 2.29 for four. That's gone fine, very fine away from Mohamed Yusuf. So pressure is on Abdurrahman. That really wasn't such a smart delivery. He's got a bit of a problem, uh, Abdurrahman. He's, he's very high with his arm action, his bowling arm action. He gets right up past the vertical. He'll find it hard to take it away from the left hander and spin it back from there. Oh, that's a spanking straight six. What a strike. Brilliant stuff from Robin Utapa. He adjusted brilliantly, moved inside the line of the ball and then smacked it straight over the bowler. It's the footwork here. It's the footwork. Look at that. Look at this just gave himself room that is brilliant batting it's in the air it should be taken and it is taken miss ball huck has uh, got bucket like hands and he makes no mistake your Singh is the man dismissed but uh, he seems to have done a fairly good job because it really was a quality innings. Didn't get, you know, in the middle of the bat, and it was a sky and nicely taken by Mispa. Yes, he knew he was gone, didn't he? Didn't quite get hold of it. But that's that stock delivery. 
the basics that you have to bowl. 77. It's 260 for five. Uthapa looking to strike the ball once again, uh, opting for the reverse sweep, and that's gone for a four. Miss Baulak has missed it. A real bonus for India. Oh, bowling. Terrific delivery from Umar Gul. He's such a good bowler, especially at the death end of the innings. Absolutely straight and hit, hitting the middle of the middle stump. Well bowled. Terrible cricket shot. Swing across the line. He's too good for that. That should have gone straight down the ground. I reckon he premeditated that shot and it's cost him his wicket. The aim at middle and uh, they miss you hit. He's gone for 19. It's 265 for six. Omar Go starts off uh, his little battle against Harbhajan Singh with a bouncer. It's been given as a wide. Well, good delivery. Omar Go once again being very good with his Yorkers and chance for Shweb Malik had that hit. It would have been uh, an end of uh, a Bhaji show here at Kanpur. Yeah, it was a crazy run. Could have been gone for all money. What? He's looking to lift him over with wicket. Chance at the non-striker's end. Well, I think he's not been able to dislodge the bales. He was standing in front of the stumps. It's a modern technique and I really don't like it because uh, you disallow, disallow the, the chance of ball hitting the stumps directly. I'm with you. I, I just think it's crazy. If you can't behind the stumps, you can read it, it comes into your hands and it's just like a keeper stumping someone, you know. The keeper, he, well, he can't, it's law, he can't take it in front of the stumps to stump someone. But Here he goes. There she goes. It's a massive six from Irfan Patan. And that is the risk Come on, Come on. that Abdul Rahman carried with him by coming on to bowl in the 49th over of the innings. Not such a smart move from Shweb Malik. Yeah, there was nothing on that delivery, was there? It gave Patan plenty of time to uh, Come on, Come make position down the track, get the bottom hand through it, and smack it for six. It goes for the big one, it's another big one, it's another six. Wow, what a strike from Irfan Patan. 284 for six. Oh, it's a no ball, would you believe it? The drama continues here at Kanpur, it'll be a free hit. He'll pick up runs, not four, but at least two. So India end up the show with 294 for six. Straight away over the top. Hasn't hit it too well, but has enough to get to the boundary. That should be at least two, if not three, they run hard. Some pace was taken off the ball, but it's got to the boundary. It's 11 for no loss. Put away cleanly. He's such a lovely player to watch. As he is in good form, he's not going to miss out on these opportunities. Edged. And falling short. And four runs. That's important for Pakistan. Bold him. Looking for the mighty hit to hit him down the ground. And Patan swinging delivery forced him to play down the wrong line. So India have struck a major blow because Afridi can be deadly dangerous. That's a great start for the Indian team. Getting rid of dangerous Shahid Afridi earlier on should tempt the confidence of the Pakistani batsman to come. Shahid Afridi was expected to play a big innings. He's out for 12, 27 for 1. Bisected the gap, and it's a good, quick outfield. He'll get a boundary, Salman, but...
Great shot. Almost to Yorker. He took the class of Yunus Khan to put it away so easily. Made it look so simple. Another good shot. Presenting the full face of the bat. Desperate dive from Zaev Khan. And the ball will win the race. Sloppy work. Looking to feel with his leg. Don't normally see that. Don't normally see that run away to the boundary as well. Timing is so good and that has gone away for four. It's the 11th four of the innings. And there'll be more of them. Yunus Khan is on fire. 62 for one. Short and wide. It's another one. He's in good form, Salman Bhatt. Oh, bowl him! Clean him up! Yunus Khan was in two minds and has missed a, a relatively straightforward delivery. Wow, what a strike from R.P. Singh. From nowhere has produced this perler. That ball stayed the course, didn't come back and Yunus Khan uh, missed what can be termed as a straightforward delivery. But uh, terrific effort from R.P. Singh. He got it right in the end, gone for 21, two down Pakistan for 72. Oh, lovely. Lovely drive from Mohammed Yusuf. Well, that's been struck magnificently and that's gone away for four. Oh, the field has gone the wrong way. Couldn't quite understand that one. It's gone away for four. up here and yeah. maybe they've got him he's gone would you believe it a direct hit it is unbelievable Yuvraj Singh dived got a hand to it and thank goodness from the Indian perspective that Zahir Khan missed the ball Zahir Khan was completely out of position he wasn't going to get back to the stumps in time it's brilliant from Yuvraj Singh a dive he's on his right or his left hand which is his natural throwing hand and I don't know whether Zahir Khan tried to grab it or not, or he just missed it. But it was most fortunate. And yes, Yuraj, absolutely brilliant. Gone for 16, Mohamed Yusuf. It's 104 for three. Just wide. Again, quicker through the air. Straight at delivery. Well, Yuvraj was convinced, so is the, the uh, umpire. It was a straighter one. Ian Gould took his time. Decision has gone in favor of the Indians. Shweb Malik didn't like it. But he's got to shift. He's got to go back to the hut. Malik thinks he hits it. He re thinks he's got an inside edge. No way. It's come off the pad onto the bat. And uh, whether it's straightened enough or not, you be the judge. Ian Gould said it was out. And that's the end of the story for Malik. For 12, it's 134 for 4. That'll go to run away for 4. That's the boundary they required. It's 161 for 4. Well, that's been smashed straight. That's 4. That's beautifully played. Paris! He's got that fine. That's probably going to run away. There's no stopping it once it passes the infield. Oh, that's beautifully played. And it's not so cleverly done in the, out, in the outfield. That'll require some getting to. He's not going to get to it. He's played it fine.
That's his 100. 100 Salman Bhatt. What a wonderful innings he's played. This is his fourth 100. And would you believe it? All against India. That's well bowled. But it's equally well played. And that's going to be four. Couldn't quite imagine how he put that away with such ease. Oh, yeah. He's bowled him. Well, that's a comeback by Murli Karthik. The strategy from over the wicket has worked. Sachin says, I told you so. Well, there's a contribution from the entire team. They've got a big wicket. Also bowled a lot slower in the air. Hence the turn. Trying to guide it for a run. But didn't quite manage it, Misbah. So that's a big mistake. A big one for India. 38 for Misbah. It's 214 for 5. Well, that's been smashed. There is no way that that is going to be stopped. So Salman Butt is not looking back. This is his highest score as well. Midon has taken it. India pick up another wicket. Dhoni is happy. Two nervous moments creeping in for the Indians and Kamran Akmal. Disappointing throw, but the bat continues. The pace was good for Salman, but at this point, but no so good for Kamran Nakmal. Tried to lock the ball over mid on and was holed out. Easy catch for Harbhajan. Kamran Nakmal comes and goes, leaving Pakistan in trouble. 226 for six. Batsman crossed over. He's played it very fine. He's calling for two. Could be an another opportunity, yes! There could be another another opportunity and this time he's going to show. Big mix-up, played to long on, called for two immediately, Salman Bhatt. So here Tanvi hesitated for a brief moment and then decided to go for it. Another important wicket, but you have to wait and see. The run-out call at the non-striker's end is also a cause for concern. Coming with errors in a pressure and serious situation. It was two all the way. Have a look. There was hesitation from Suhail Tanvi. His senior partner was calling. There was no need to say no. And Pakistan suffered. 231 for seven. Well, the umpires, on-field umpires have referred this to the third umpire because there was a bit of a confusion as to what happened at the bowler's end. Both batsmen heading for the bowler's end and R.P. Singh, I thought, lost control of the ball, did not have the ball in hand, otherwise Sanman but may have been marginally short of the crease, but no doubts whatsoever there was a run-out at the other end. This is what we're looking at, he's lost the ball and both batsmen well short of the crease but i thought rp singh had no control over the ball this will give us a better visual evidence there you go i'm afraid you're spot on siva <laughs> bold him poor thinking he needed to bat and give him support abdul rahman looking to play the big shot but it was a good delivery. The block hole delivery is the must if you want to be successful in the end overs. And RP Singh has provided that. Salman Bhatt wasn't a happy man. After this dismissal, he must have asked the batsman to pick up a single. He went otherwise. And he has lost his wicket. 244 for 8. Saiba had no hesitation, very difficult to give because it's a pitch where the ball is doing a lot as a spinner. There's turn, there's bounce. But what an innings! One of the best innings seen in Kanpur comes to an end. Well, he's been victim of circumstances, Salman, but he had to take his chances. And a good thing, he was looking for a victory. Well, he'll be feeling 
unhappy after he sees this decision of the umpire but he is batted well 246 for nine in the air and taken that's the end of the match Rohit Sharma takes the catch Shoa Bakta looking for the biggie down the ground he had to look for those because Pakistan's equation was 47 of 17 balls so India in the end getting home and India takes the lead in the series they are one up in the series now at the start of the game the series was tied at one all and India ended up as a better team was hit in the air enough time for the fieldsmen to camp on the rate and took it nicely Rohit Sharma was the fieldsman Shreb bad luck you tried extremely hard but I guess 290 yard chasing down on a pitch which had a bit of wear and tear was always going to be tough I think uh, we were expecting 250 but uh, from 28 overs to 40 overs Yuvraj and Dhoni they batted well that, that's why they made 294 I think we were lacking in the fielding at the moment and we have we need to work hard in fielding department well it really was an important game MS because um, you lost uh, uh, that last game 321 was chased down so you needed a bit of boost and confidence as well well we are not really bogged down by the by the last game I think you know they batted well and and you know everything didn't work for us like that's why we lost the match so we are not really bogged down by it but obviously we wanted to win this game and you know go up in the series 2-1